I think the big school or nothing is a fear tactic. And it's a desperation tactic. It's not encouraging. It's not positive. It's not forward thinking. It's fear. We chose Ipswich when we, when we were looking for a town to move to, um, in part because of the feeling you get when you drive through town. Um, you know, of course, Sumi's is a part of that, but this, this, this pulse, and kids are a part of that because of the proximity um, of Winthrop to the downtown. If Winthrop wasn't downtown now, my daughter is in second grade and is in Title I reading every Tuesday and Wednesday after school. She is picked up by my brother, who walks from our house to bring her home. I would have to leave work early, or I'd have to skip work if it was a late tide to make sure that I could get her from school if I had to drive out to Doyon. I do have concerns about building such a large and expensive school. Um, I fear it will affect future overrides. Um, funding curriculum and services and our teachers is far more important to me than a new structure. A lot of towns have actually done a renovate upgrade option and we never heard about those examples. Um, for some reason it was from the beginning, you know, we've got to demolish and start anew. If you already have an existing facility, you know, the question is, do you renovate the facility or do you construct an entire new one? And building buildings is, takes a lot of energy and, you know, buildings contribute to more than 40% of our greenhouse gases in the United States and in the world. So, you know, it, it's a big decision to make, take that step and say, yes, we need a new building when there's an, uh, potentially an opportunity to renovate an existing one. Initially, when these um, proposals came forward, we were really discouraged from thinking that was even a possibility to do renovations. Um, therefore, the only choice seemed to be, has to be a big school or nothing. And that turns out not to be the case at all. I think we've spent years on this, and all they do is listen to the squeaky wheel and change directions. They don't actually decide what the better direction is, they just avoid the people who are complaining. I've been doing this work for a long time. I've been in public settings, private settings, and experience-based settings. And every one of those settings to me speaks to <clears throat> uh, s small schools are more apt to create a community of learners where relationships are developed. And to me, relationships are the glue that holds uh, education together. One of the benefits of having two small schools is that kids do come from schools with diverse culture. And again, as they reform and become a unit at the middle school, they bring with it things that the other group may not have experienced. And so again, it broadens what it is they're able to both do and how they're able to participate and how they're able to say, oh, well, we did it like this and then learn from each other. If you end up with one school, all of that disappears. I think we can do a lot better as a town and the best way to do better is to keep two schools. <laughs> Um, I, I really believe in two small schools.